Yo, new Strawberry Park drop July 6, 11 a.m. PST. Mark your calendar. Super small drop. We literally only have two items. We got the Strawberry Park mirror hoodie, Strawberry Park mirror tee. That's it. Just black. Only one color. It goes to everything. This is like embroidered. 3D embroidery. Two items. Get both. Get one. Follow us at Strawberry Park on Instagram. We love your guys' support. We're trying to get a podcast one day. So if you guys support us, we're going to get closer to that. Sheesh. So I know everyone's commenting, oh, this is a PSYOP, sort of like half jokingly. It's really not a joke. There's no Israel has been doing this for f***ing ages. I mean, they need the PR especially, so they, they kind of turbo boost it. Just be aware this is an actual thing. What? <laughs> Go on the field and help them. It's propaganda. Yeah. Propaganda. Yeah. Don't f***ing join. Yeah. Propaganda. It's propaganda. I'm sorry, no girl looking like that's joining the motherfuckers <laughs> or the military and shit. I mean, there are probably cute, beautiful women in there, but this had to be like photos. Yeah, that was a, she went. Those were photo shoots where they dressed up. You wouldn't be that happy. You wouldn't have much time to be enjoying yourself that much. Doesn't matter if you drive a Hellcat or a 99 Toyota Corolla. Always open the door for your lady. They think you're being a gentleman, really. They just can't close the door right. After Brittany Griner played her first WNBA game since coming home from prison in Russia, the Phoenix Mercury head coach was angry that Los Angeles couldn't sell out the arena. I heard about that. But this makes it seem like they had a choice. And in all fairness, if you offered people a free WNBA ticket or a crisp $1 <laughs> bill, they are all taking the dollar. Would you rather have a ticket to a WNBA game or $1? $1. $1. Are you going? Oh, oh, oh. All right, I guess. All right, thank you. Uh, Neither. Neither? Seriously, this is courtside ticket. Does that change your mind? Yeah. Uh, oh. you oh. Or tickets to a WNBA game. I'm gonna have to take that dollar. It did. Would you rather take a dollar or tickets to a WNBA game? A dollar. Would you rather take a dollar or tickets to a WNBA game? <laughs> Dollar. I feel like it's just friends and fam at those boys, things. Let me get you a couple dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd rather take a dollar or tickets to a WNBA game. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take the dollar. Instant oh. lap? I mean, instant lap. It was great, but like, honestly, come on, LA. Just a coach. You can saw the arena for BG. Like, I expected more, you know, to be honest, right? Like, it was great. It was loud. But um, how was... How is it not a sellout? Worried so, about the so, sellout. So frustrated. It was a good game, but like, one LA, you could have been there. Brittany Griner. Have y'all ever seen Brittany Griner highlights? I don't even know what she looks like. <laughs> one I'm, not a, I'm not a sports ticket. guy. I, I would take the dollar. <laughs> I don't watch basketball. <laughs> the bottom line is people don't want is people don't watch that. People, even the people that claim, what well, we should, that's mean. Who's your favorite player then? Who's your favorite I wish team? they would ask a couple of girls too, because I bet you was somewhat folded too. I mean, like, I'll take the dollar. Yeah, who's your favorite team then? Name five. They five of your favorite WNBA players or just any of them and that's no mean shit it's just it's not as popular archery is not popular but there's a little bit there's a niche for it it's like more entertaining to watch the guys wouldn't you say so so it's like why not just watch the guys and that's what happens how could you force someone to like something that doesn't make any sense yeah you have to like it no I don't like it prove that they're not really dunking or anything like no, it's just- I heard Shaq say, or somebody say, like, they should at least lower the thing so it's more entertaining for people to watch it and maybe people will go or whatever, I don't know. And they still get paid a lot of money, so it's like, what is the- and also the the NBA, what it subsidizes the WNBA. Like, the WNBA wouldn't exist, the NBA pays for it every year, and the WNBA loses money every single year. It's a, it's a business that makes no money every single year, but they still keep it up. But then we're gonna ask them if they could name a WNBA player. Who's your favorite men's basketball player? Stephen Curry. Do you have a favorite woman? basketball player I forgot her name <laughs> Damn. I mean, women deserve equal pay uh, they do equal amounts of work can you name any uh, WNBA players no nah, I can't uh, I don't like sports a lot of so. course not but I think you could probably name some NBA players right I could and I think that's because it's a lot more publicized what's your favorite who's your favorite basketball player publicized or popular um, I think Shaq is really funny um, and now I have a question who's your favorite women's basketball player Someone on the Utah's women's <laughs> basketball team. We're from Connecticut. One who's trapped in Russia right now. I forget her name. Do you know what I'm talking about? That's right. Yeah. Know the one who's name. trapped Maybe in the Russia. most popular one. Let's see if you can get the last name. Ready? Brittany Spears. <laughs> Women are equal to men, so I don't see why not. Can you name at least like any any players, any WNBA players? Damn, and I know one, 
off the top of the head, it's not gonna come off. Why the fuck you lying? Do you think women's sports should uh, get paid more, get more recognition? What do you guys think? For sure, like, we deserve equality, so definitely should. What about the WNBA team? The right thing to say. You don't need and WNBA players? No, I really don't. I mean, like, I, I know their faces, but I'm terrible with names. What about you? You think, could you name any, any of them? I could either. I'm... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just as bad. You're asking people to put their money where their mouth is. It's like, all right, you believe in this? Okay, name a person. Well, I can't. You don't even care, bro. <laughs> Golly, it's shit exhausting. I just bought my girl this brand new Porsche. Pretty freaking sweet. I don't even the manual. All right, guys, I just bought myself this brand new. You smart. The internet was made by a woman. <sighs> Another day, another lie to debunk. So here we go. You're not gonna like this, but here's the truth. So these two guys here are the ones credited for inventing the internet. What you're probably confusing, or just choosing to flat out lie about, is Hedy Lamar is an actress and inventor who pioneered the technology that would one day form the basis for today's Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth communication system. Yeah, that's not the internet. So are you gonna admit that you were wrong, or- Being called a straight Don't white man. Over. We're good, and everything's really good. Everything's looking really good. We're in the lowest time of poverty in human history, and poverty is exponentially reducing every year. Trust me, we're in the ve very good time. This is really interesting coming from a straight white man. Oh, well, okay, yes. See, everything's always yes. been good for you. I'm a minority. Yeah. Nothing's good for me. I'm Palestinian. I'm Arab. You're Arab? Yeah. Next clip. Chris says that her husband always gives her a kiss before he goes to work. Why don't you? Well, I barely know her, but... I guess I can stop by there. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> God damn, it's so beautiful lady that they're too complicated for me. Nah, it's a, ch oh, it's a cheerleader effect, man. Oh, if you look no, at them no, individually, they're not as hot as you think. These guys. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, no, they're hot. <laughs> well, holy, holy shit. Holiday black flag. Hey, yo. He's the one. Have you ever cheated on somebody? Oh, you're gonna be like that yes i was dating someone at home and i cheated on my boyfriend damn and they want to say it they want it to be documented you could have said you could have okay, lied like, no never have yes, i yes i did you want me to be a dick <laughs> led on you you're gonna it? post this on youtube right yeah i'm a cheater it's an evil world we live in yeah like would you want even a clip of you on there like anyone you're gonna try to date oh so you're a che you're a cheater i'm a cheater and then they gonna get mad at take that down she did the pretend mad like oh, so you're gonna be a dick yeah i'm a cheater she's mad at the guy asking the question really dude yeah i am you didn't have to answer that <laughs> you could have just said no stop going Oh my god. 